on this episode of Chavin ABC. <laughs> on Southworth Airlines. Welcome to another adventure. We are here in beautiful Belize. Flew into Belize City, drove about what, three and a half hours? Three and a half hours. Long hours? <laughs> long hours. Very long hours, it felt for like forever, but we rented a car, drove three and a half hours, and now we are in gorgeous Placencia. Placencia is not the main tourist destination that I think most people would go to when they're here in Belize. It used to be a sleepy fishing village, and tourism is starting to pick up here, but yeah. it is beautiful. We are staying at the Coconut Beach House and it is awesome <laughs> it is it awesome really nice. the house is great it's right on the beach you can walk right into the water and it is perfect for our family it has two bedrooms two bathrooms a full kitchen so we've been able to cook and just really live in belief yeah. We decided to split our Belize trip into two adventure films and the first one is going to be on the mainland where we go into the jungle with howler monkeys, we go down the monkey river and we spend time with an authentic Mayan family in the living Maya experience. So here we are in Belize and we did something super special, the Living Maya Experience. Now we drove about two hours from where we are staying to come here, but it was totally worth it. It was an easy drive. It was literally what, one road? Yeah. Just Southern, Southern Highway. Highway. And uh, this is an experience, it really was. This one yesterday. Well, I would say, welcome to the Living Maya Experience. Here we, Mostly showcase the way how the Mayas used to live before. All right, guys, we start working, right? Ready to start working? Everybody will clean the Mayan home. The way we live is a traditional way is ground floor, no concrete, nothing. Everything is from the earth. So, the traditional way, what they use is sweeping the floor with a broom, right? So, that's what they would do with the broom, right? So everything that we use in the home is from the forest. The Mayas, they rely on the forest 100%. No. No, you use the bottom part. Oh, that's how you're going to be today? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the way how we do it here. Take to dry. Um, a day. A day. Mm -hmm. All that took was just the dirt they already just swept to keep dirt. it clean yeah. and water. Yep. Repatching it, Bentley. That's what they would do. Keep your finger away, okay? So you just, if you put your finger here, then you will squish your finger. Good job, Asher. Can I turn out, please? Good job, Bentley. Take an actual chocolate bean and crush it up. It smells good. Isn't that pretty neat what chocolate was? Did you know that chocolate was a bean? You didn't know? Now you know. You just find that chocolate is a bean. Yeah, Show me those muscles, bigger. Was that a look at the baby? Where's the baby at? I caught that. Yeah. Like, where's the baby at? 
multitasking always, yeah. right? You right. would have thought it would have been the opposite, that the beans would have been harder, but actually the corn is harder. So what do you want them to work harder for? Tortillas or chocolate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I'd be eating a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Uh-oh, Asher, that tortilla looks serious, man. <laughs> Oh, Let's see what it's supposed to look like. Cadences, good. Bentleys, good. Asher, I don't know what happened here, man. What'd you do to that tortilla? You guys know they how just we this part here. You will take our tortillas see. out of a bag at home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do to make tortillas. Mm -hmm. Just go wrong and wrong and wrong. Now look, he's gonna cook. She's like, okay, watch. And we'll put it here. Cook. Is that just the corn mashed up? Is it corn and water or? Yes. It's the it's just this, is the, this is the finishing part of grinding it. Wow, so that's, that's all corn? Yes, just, yeah. just, just corn. Wow. Wow. And I just add a little bit of water to it just to get it soft. Just blow up because of the heat. Okay. So then you just take it out from here and then you put it in here. This is gonna be huge. Venus <laughs> <laughs> is making a daddy tortilla there. Thank you, baby. But she forgot the hot cup. Oh. She did. Alright, then we start with the musical instrument. Now, this one is the drum. You can go up, you can go up on the bench. Yeah. Side a little bit to get extra noises. Yeah. What's this made out of? This is deer skin. Hit the drum. Boom boom. Hit the drum. There you go. Good job. Do it again. Watch. You try. Go ahead. Can you try? Make music. He just likes holding the mallet. More or less, we call it the marimba. To but you need to give a little more on the end. All right. You need to hit this, right? Chill, chill. Does that remind you of your old recorder days? Yes. You know, it's over when the kid takes the maraca to the harp. What was your favorite instrument out of every instrument you just did? Which one is yours, Kate? It's the harp? You like the drum? Ash, what was your favorite one? No doubt. That's why you're playing it. They all like something. They do. And he just likes sweeping. Good. All right, keep sweeping, bro. It's the bark from the tree. So you guys want to... Wow. This is your bed. Why don't you guys sleep? That's the bed. You want to sleep? Somebody can lie down on it. You want to try it? Lay down like you're going to sleep. Oh. Okay. How's it feel? Comfortable? I wanted to get a picture. Okay, just lay down like you're going to be Sleep beside her. You're up. You're up. You're up. <laughs> Asher, that is a bed. Lay down like you're going to. Be that is a traditional. Your mom. There he is. Alright, that's okay, that's gonna be the highest. Alright, it's a competition yeah. now. Okay. No, no, Kate, you're already the highest, that's good. No, no you need to go to the top, Bentley, and then leap from that bar to that bar, and then you win the competition. I'm gonna get you. Whoa, whoa! I'm going. You guys all went to the top. I'll beat you there. I'll beat you there. I'll beat you there. So then in here would be like maybe two. 50 to 60 cacao bean, right? Wow. Really? So right. that's with chocolate? Yep. I never yep. would have thought. So wait, I need to get a mansion. It's in on the token. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back inside, guys, um, and we will I see if we can have some lunch, right? So we were a little nervous about the Mayan meal because we knew we think it would be awesome, but we weren't sure how the kids would respond. We wanted them to be kind. <laughs> and they were. Bentley was super pleased and thank you. 
Um, they were very kind and they actually did pretty good eating it. It was delicious. It was. I thought it was awesome. We actually got to eat the corn tortillas that the kids helped to hand make, uh -huh. along with some delicious spinach and potatoes and chicken and a chocolate drink yeah. from the beans that we actually got to grind. The kids liked it and it was delicious. It and was. we were very grateful and thankful that we got to come here and experience a traditional Mayan meal. Give, give it to him. She made that for you. She drew a picture for you. <laughs> Let's do this. That's for you, buddy. He drew a little picture for you, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. I think the thing that's so important for our kids is to be hands-on. Before we go, we always try to teach them about what we're going to do, what we're going to see, because I think that helps them get more engaged with why we're doing this. And that just doesn't compare to actually doing it. So for them to actually use the things and the tools and put their hands on stuff and actually work and have a traditional Mayan meal was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, I feel like there always has to be like a why behind what we do. Yeah. There's a why behind why we do traveling ABCs and there's gotta be a why for each destination or experience that we have. Mm -hmm. And this one really was to get the kids' hands dirty mm -hmm. and for them to experience what it felt like. And they definitely got dirty. They're the sweetest family and they started this five years ago to teach their kids and the future generations what it was really like to live in traditional Mayan culture. But even for their kids, we were talking to them and they said this is what taught us to see what our ancestors actually really did. Yeah. And they garnered a whole new appreciation and I know we definitely did. And I think I hope our kids did and it will help carry on and show people you know, what the way of life was like for the Mayans back in history. It was an amazing experience and we highly recommend it. It's yeah. worth a two hour drive. You know, one of my favorite parts was what? watching you uh, like grind, grind that it. corn or try to grind this corn try. like Mr. Muscle Man. Try to grind the he corn. He wasn't grinding the corn. No, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. And you were grinding the chocolate wanting to eat all of it. So. And I was doing great yeah. grinding the chocolate. The chocolate beans were easy. Chocolate, I think I would have fired The chocolate you. beans that were easier to grind than the corn. I think I'd fire you as the corn grinder. Well, good thing I'm making films for us and not <laughs> grinding corn. <laughs> So the cool thing about Placencia is they have this sidewalk that pretty much runs from where we're staying, which is the Coconut Beach House, the whole way into downtown. So we can walk to dinner, walk to the ice cream store, and that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna go find a restaurant to eat some dinner.
took a boat ride with Alfonso on Monkey River Eco Tours and we are currently on the Monkey River and we're gonna go see cow monkeys and birds and all kinds of animals in the rainforest of Belize. And we did this tour because we felt like it's important to do a little bit of land and water with the kids and to see some of the native animals that live here and really um, get to know the nature side of Belize. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to Monk River. This is Monk River community, as well as the main river. It's also known as Monk River. It was one of the first towns throughout the country of Belize. It became a town whenever Belize was known as British Honduras. That was in 1891. You see him, bud? Look at that wing. Nothing. Okay, if you look straight up, straight up where, like look directly up in the sky now, he's all the way there at the top. It's very light. Oh, yeah, I see you it. You see it now? It just moved his head. Um, iguanas can camouflage. Why? Because they can turn colors. But why do they do that? Because they can blend into me. So they don't get eaten by predators. So they don't get eaten by predators? You're right. But the bark off this said tree has also been used for nice beverage drinks. A vision tree, that's beautiful. It's so amazing, I feel like no matter how much nature you see, how much variety that still exists that you haven't seen, there's just so much variety. With some apple juice, or some turkey, or some raisins. Did it really? Yeah, it just went like, ah. Well, at least we got to see Well, now it. he's in the water. Oh, my horn monkey's out. What did it sound like? <laughs> Where do you think the monkeys are hiding? Oh, I'm there in that tree. Baby bats. Sleep in the morning because they're kind of nocturnal, so that's why they sleep in the morning. Oh, really? Did you just see some bats? Yeah. Were they big or small? Small. Do you think they're a baby one? Yes. What do you think of that? Cute. Cadence is definitely more like me. She is definitely super comfortable on the boat, sitting right up front with the wind blowing in her hair. I got the smile and you can't take it away. It's <laughs> here forever. He likes it. He's sitting. Five, four, three, two. And we have a new one. record. New record. I just broke a record. That can for more than five seconds. Nine. Our family loves water. So this tour is perfect because it's a mix of both water and land. It's been a beautiful day on the beautiful Monkey River in Belize. I think we're almost there, Bentley. Yeah, zip it up. <laughs> That's him coming back. Oops, everybody come up. All right. Okay, come up. We'll be off the pot for a few minutes to see the monkeys because they're not in the pot. This is the habitat for the most venomous to the non-venomous snakes in this area here. We don't say that we'll meet one or see one or get bitten by any, but we just want everyone to know. There's venomous snakes everywhere. Do not touch any of the stuff on the ground. Look at that Mr. No Fear up there. Okay, again, we're off the pot. So just be careful where you step in and so forth. You're doing great, buddy. Come here. He's right up here. I see him. Look. He's straight up here. Come up. Yeah, close to where I am. Oh, yeah. You see him, buddy? He's right ahead of us right now. Huh. It's a bug. Yeah. You see him? Is he right up there? Hold on. It's right above us. See that right above us? Bugs? What would you recommend people when they come on this uh, tour? Bug spray. <laughs> Take a bath in bug spray. Yes, hi, yes. Oh, hey, He's all good. Good job, man. You're tough. I know, I know. You're deep in the jungle. Are we good? I wish oh. this was an ocean. Well, it would be safe. You know, it's serious when Alfonso's hat's off, guys. Let's be honest. Dang, he's serious, man. Tell me about Beckham, because you said you want to talk about him. What do you want to say about him? Beckham is going crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Baby. Yo, poisonous snake fell, kid. You gotta stay on the path. Uh, the fresh jaguar trap. Oh god. There's a bunch, uh, hundred C C is fresh fresh print. Jaguar trap. Jaguar jaguar moving this way right here. We survived the Bolivian jungle rainforest. We were getting bit. We saw monkeys and lots of snake skeletons and lots of cool things. So it was worth it. Kids liked it. Yeah, that was uh, that was intense. There was this huge pack of army ants at the end that were going everywhere. We needed to make sure they didn't get on the kids and barely missed a tarantula. And we saw a bunch of jaguar footprints that were like a minute or two ahead of us. So we literally missed a jaguar by two minutes, which is pretty awesome. The jungle was the best because uh, we I got to saw I got to see snake skeletons, jaguar footprints, and also on the belt where I saw an alligator. Ooh, alligator, or crocodile. Crocodile. Katie, what are we looking for, baby? I can't hear you. Look at me. great tour. We had an amazing time in the rainforest. The lunch at Monkey River was great. Um, we are very, very grateful we got to go on this experience. While we were here uh, having lunch, our oldest son, Bentley, uh, really brought up to us, Mom, Dad, why do we come here? Why do we go out of our comfort zone mm -hmm. and you know, eat in places that are out of our norm? and out Different of, foods, you know, different, different foods. environments. And when he asked that question is we turned to each other and we were like, that's exactly why. <laughs> it's because if you don't, you don't know. They don't know. There's only so much that they'll learn by you telling them about yeah. other places and oh, this place exists or that they read about, but to actually see it and feel it and sit there and taste those foods and smell those smells and hug those people, that's how they're gonna learn and know. Doing these adventures, is stressful sometimes. It is overwhelming. With four kids, definitely. Four kids, uh, it's overwhelming people with probably two kids. Four is 100% is overwhelming, but after every single kind of adventure we go do, we're exhausted and we're worn out, but we, we truly believe that our hope is that it really builds in the kids new experiences that they won't forget. And we also hope that these adventure films do the same for anyone that's watching them that if you really get a lot from it, that you wanna subscribe, you wanna then go challenge your family to go put yourself out of your comfort zone and experience something. It is important for us to take the experiences from just what the kids read from a textbook and actually bring it to life in their hands where they are actually doing and seeing with their own eyes and getting involved. We really feel like that's where the heart change takes place. Mm -hmm. It was a heart changing, uh, character changing experience and an amazing way to start off the first leg of our Belize trip. Underneath the video, for every video that we do, I kind of break down where we went, what we did, and give you actual links so that you can recreate a similar adventure for your own family. So, hope you enjoyed this adventure film. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Please subscribe. please subscribe. We're lacking on the subscriptions. Lacking subscribers. I'm putting please. a lot of time into editing these and we're not getting subscribers. I'm gonna lose my editor. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but if you, if, if you enjoy it, do that. And, and this, this adventure, adventure is, is over. over.